Hey everyone, it's Mad Chen here. In today's Procreate tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you three ways on how to curve text in Procreate. So stick around and in a few moments, we'll get into curving text in Procreate. Welcome back fellow artists and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Mad Chen and I'm a digital illustrator. I create Procreate tutorials for beginners. Welcome back guys, now let's get started. Just a little heads up to let everyone know that Procreate doesn't have a feature that allows text to be warped in or around shapes, but fortunately there's a way to get around it. So the first thing we want to do is click on actions up here, click on add, then go down halfway and click on add text. A small menu will show up at the bottom of the screen, you want to go ahead and click on the keyboard icon. So we go over here to the left where there's an arrow and we double click it until a line shows up under the arrow. Now we can type our text. After typing your text, you'll see two blue dots on both sides of your text. These are nodes that you can use to place your text on one line. So I'm just going to drag these. As you can see, the Procreate tutorial is now on one line. Next, I'll double click on Procreate to highlight it. Then you'll see some blue nodes on the top left and the bottom right of the Procreate word. I'm just going to take the bottom right node until it also covers the word tutorial. Then let's go up here to the menu and click on ANA1 because we want access to different fonts. And I'm going to change ANA1 to the Jack Armstrong font. I'm going to change the style to bold italic. Then we'll go to design and go down to kerning and increase the percentage a bit to separate the letters out and give each letter some space. Then click on done here on the right. Then you want to go to layers and add a new layer and drag that new layer under the text. Go back to actions, click on the canvas tab and we're going to toggle on drawing guide. Then right under it, we're going to click on edit drawing guide. Down here you have grid size. So the grids that you see on your canvas can be adjusted as smaller or bigger squares. I'll make the squares a little larger to make it easier for me to see. Once you're happy, just click done up here on the right. Using the grid as my guide, I'll draw an arc as symmetrical as possible. Don't worry if you make a mistake here because up above there's the edit shape button. Clicking on that will allow nodes to show up on your arc and you can use those nodes to reshape your arc until you're happy with the look. You can drag those nodes until the arc becomes symmetrical. Then I'm going to go back to layers and click on the text layer again. Then we're going to click on the transform tool and drag our text until it sits on top of the arc. Use the nodes around the text in the Procreate guidelines as a guide to show you the middle of the text. Then we'll go back to actions and we're going to toggle off the drawing guide. Click on the transform tool. Come down to the menu down here and click on warp. You'll see some more nodes show up around our text. You can use these to drag your text down around the arc, like so. Any part of this mesh, even if it doesn't have a node, can be dragged to adjust your text, just like so. Now I'm going to teach you a Procreate tip. On the bottom left of the menu, you'll see Advanced Mesh. Clicking on that will allow for more nodes to show up around the mesh. This will make it easier for you to drag certain points around your text. Once you're happy, just click on the transform tool again to turn off the mesh. Then all you need to do is go back to layers and toggle off the arc layer that we drew. Time for the second example. So the second example is a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to guide you guys through this one. And for this example, I've prepared a simple ribbon. So first we go to actions and add text. And then I'm going to use the transform tool to drag down the text so that I can see it better. And then we're going to click on the keyboard, double click again on this up arrow to put it into caps lock. And then I'm going to type my text curve text in procreate and adjust the nodes to place it all onto one line. 
Then I'll click on the transform tool again, drag the text down on top of the ribbon, adjust the position using the appropriate guides, then click on the Selections tool. The Selections tool will bring up a menu at the bottom of the screen. You want to select the rectangle option down here. And I'm going to drag a rectangle shape around the word Procreate to select the word and then click on the transform tool to move that word. And I'm just gonna adjust the word procreate onto my ribbon. You'll see some extra nodes around that word. There's a yellow node on the bottom of the word. Drag that down left and right. This yellow node is quite useful because it helps you reposition your word onto a particular angle. So I'm going to use this yellow node to drag it where I'd like my word procreate to be. Once I'm happy, I'll go back to the top of the word and use the green node to adjust the angle of the word procreate. It should automatically snap to the same angle that you chose using the yellow node. I'm going to do the same thing with the word curve. I'm going to click on selections and draw a rectangle around it. Then click on transform to adjust the position of the word. If necessary, use the yellow node to adjust the angles. Now I'll just quickly go ahead and finish the rest of the words. Now I'm going to show you how to do the third way to curve text. Click on selections. On the menu at the bottom, click on Freehand. Freehand will allow you to select individual letters. Once you've selected a letter, click on the Transform tool again. Then you just need to adjust the position of the letter, the same as what we've done with the words. I'll go ahead and finish the rest of the text. Please give this video a like if you're enjoying the content so far. You can also check out my other Procreate tutorials, which I'll leave links up above and also in the description below. Thanks for watching guys and now you know how to curve text in Procreate. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.